Nagamanchetti, 47, reached out to her BBC colleague Rita Chakrabarty, 57, who received an urgent text message which required immediate attention. The BBC News correspondent took to social media and shared a screenshot that she believed was from the NHS. The message was said to be from the NHS test kit and warned the newsreader had been in close contact with a person who has contracted the Omicron variant. Taking to Twitter, Rita asked her 22,200 followers if the text message was possibly fake. She penned, Morning, I've just been texted the below by someone calling themselves NHS test kit. Anyone else received this? I'm assuming it's a scam. The screenshot read, NHS, you've been in close contact with a person who has contracted the Omicron variant. Please order a test kit. The text message finished with a link to a website to purchase the test kit. Naga was one of the first to respond to Rita's tweet and urged it was a scam. In view of her 272,000 followers, the BBC Breakfast host wrote, Defo a scam. Rita replied, Thank you, good to find unanimity here. X. Other social media users also reacted to the post, as they shared warned Rita to be vigilant. At Alex Spend, I got a similar one the link is nothing like what the NHS use so scam. At Colin Tall but remarked, yep. I had one like that a while back. Thought they'd stopped. At Scowie commented, I had one just now. Thanks for the alert. Our Yorkshire Farms Amanda Owen reacts to kids being media trained latest Jane Seymour, 71, dazzles as she puts on leggy display in swimsuit pictures Charlie Webb returns to work five months after quitting Emmerdale TV. Earlier this year, the Southwest Trading Standards Service warned residents of a series of scam text messages claiming to be from NHS Test and Trace. One of the texts told the recipient that they've been in close proximity with someone who has been contagious in reference to COVID. It then tells them that they need a test kit and provides a link to order the test, the link takes them to a fake NHS website. The messages come from a variety of mobile numbers, an indication that it is a scam, and the text can vary, but once on the website it will ask you for your bank details. Elsewhere, Naga gave her well wishes to BBC journalist Sally Bundok, who is recovering from a leg injury. Sharing a photo of her bandaged leg, Sally wrote, Recovery, week 6 almost done. I'm seeing the consultant tomorrow and hoping I can downgrade from this strict knee brace and return to work on Monday hashtag fingers crossed. Naga replied, Ooh. Fingers crossed Salex. BBC Breakfast airs daily on BBC One at 6 a.m.